Getty Mount Kilauea has cut off access to Kapoho and Vacation Land on the Big Island officials have declared a flow of molten rock has cut off access to Kapoho and Vacation Land. U.S. Geological Survey USGS, scientist Wendy Stovall said lava and fissures activity is showing no signs of slowing down. She said, we don't see any changes occurring. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency said there is no access to Kapoho and Vacation Land along Highway 132 or Highway 137 because of the lava flow. Videos posted on Twitter show debris blocking the roadway. Officials had issued obligatory orders for residents of Lalani Estates, Kapoho Beach and Vacation Land to leave by Friday noon a risk being trapped and unreachable by emergency crews. Mayor of Hawaii Harry Kim tweeted on Friday, Hawaii Volcano Observatory, HBO, reports vigorous lava eruptions continue in Lalani Estates. Residents of Vacation Land and Kapoho Beach lots must complete evacuation by 6 p.m. June 1st or risk being isolated. Residents have until noon Friday, June 1st to evacuate. Persons remaining in mandatory evacuation area do so at own risk and emergency crews may not be able to respond. Getty officials have declared a flow of molten rock has cut off access to Kapoho and Vacation Land rally. 2,000 people have been evacuated since eruptions started on May 3rd and around 75 homes have been swallowed by the lava flow. Hawaii's most volatile volcano has been in near-constant eruption for 35 years. But its recent activity is its most serious eruption for several years and is making increasing numbers of people homeless. Getty roughly 2,000 people have been evacuated since eruptions started on May 3rd. The head of Hawaii's largest homeless provider, Hope Services Hawaii, said around 685 victims of the spewing molten rock have contacted his organization for help. Brandy Menino said, there are households and families outside the shelters camping, in encampments, tents and in their cars.